The rules of the penalty shootout are quite simple. It's the best of five spot kicks and in the event of a tie, it's going to go to sudden death and we're going to potentially fall off air. Here's the voice of ITV Sports, Sam Matterface, to take us through all of the action. Good, Good luck, luck teams. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you very much, Dermot. Yes, penalties have been the bane of England's life at Soccer Aid over the last few years. When it comes to deciding dressing rooms and trophies, it's been pretty lame, their record. But all that can change tonight. This is the first time we've taken this to an audience of millions. No pressure. Tom Grennan, who's up first for England, who won the toss and decided to shoot first. It's Grennan for England, and it's saved. Well, he suffered penalty heartbreak before, back in 2022. He went high and over the bar. This time it's low, and to the goalkeeper's right. And it's a super save for Petr Cech, and it's an early advantage for the World Eleven. Diamond described herself as unbreakable, but we've already seen that penalties can fold anyone in half, even the best can miss. Against David James, and James makes a stunning save. Reprieve for England. He is the Premier League's penalty king, historically. And that's what he can do. Bobby Brazier steps up, twinkled on the dance floor. What can his feet do here? He's gone for power. He said he would. He practiced earlier on against David James and scored, and he scored against Petr Cech to put England on the scoreboard. Next up, Arsenal fan actor and all-round top boy. Michael Ward for the rest of the World Eleven, And it's another save by James. And the Soccer 8 World Eleven are behind. Two kicks taken each, 1-0 England lead. And a chance for Tom Hiddleston, who has won a Golden Globe. But can he help England win a penalty shootout? Well, Patrice Everett getting involved, trying to get inside his mind. It's Hiddleston. Oh, he's hit the underside of the bar. It's come back out. Look at this. How did that not go in? It could have bounced off the back of Czech's head if he had been lucky, but Loki wasn't. Here's Constant. No mistake. Well, hold on. David James says there was no whistle there. There was no whistle. Constant went early. I think he's going to have to be pulled back here to take that again. The referee is waving. Eddie Hearn's unhappy about it. Frank Lampard is protesting. Hearn's taking matters into his own hands. And that will have to be re retaken, I think. The referee did not blow the whistle. And the producer's getting involved. It's all kicking off. It's serious business, this. They know how important this penalty shootout is in terms of laying down a marker for the weekend. Camaraderie, often good, but as Patrice Ever, I heard him in the bar earlier saying, there's no friends once we start playing, I'm all about winning. He's thrown the ball away, David James is still protesting. We're overrunning on the time. Comston's surely got to take it again, hasn't he? They're refusing to do it. And Comston now has been encouraged by the referee and he's back to the spot. So for the second time, Constant in the line of duty, steps up against David James to get the World Eleven on the scoreboard. He doesn't miss. A decisive, ruthless penalty right into the corner, and even David James couldn't stop it. One one and Sam Quick. Captain on question of sport. Olympic gold medalist. What happens next? Goal! England have a two-one advantage. That's their fourth penalty, and it's a superb execution. Tion Wayne steps up to try and ensure that we go to the final kick with the scores level. It's 2-1 England. He has to put this away. Big Chelsea fan. Yeah! And he's put it into the arms of David James. 
Well, he's hit the top of the charts, but he couldn't find the back of the net. And now a chance for Stuart Broad to win the shootout. He's been playing five-a-side games to get back in the game. England cricket teams would play football to warm up. The legendary England bowler steps up to the crease. This could be his biggest, most pressurised delivery. It's Broad to win it. It's stopped by Perichek. All the pressure was on Broad's shoulders, but it was a stunning stop from Czech. And now we go to Theo Baker, who's taken penalties against Gianluigi Donnarumma once. He failed to score any of those. If he doesn't score this one, England are victorious. It's Baker against James. It's in. It's sudden death. 2-2. Calm and nerveless. And we go back to the beginning. Tom Grennan will have to step up for England again to take the first, the sudden death penalties. And uh, he's just making sure this time that the whistle does go. This <laughs> has been informed on the pitch in front of us. So Grennan, who's missed already once today. And it's over the bar. He still hasn't found what he's been looking for. And that hands Diamond the opportunity to win the shootout for the World Eleven for a fifth successive year. If this goes in, the home dressing room at Stamford Bridge will belong to the World Eleven. In each of the first five years, they have won the penalty shootout. Can Diamond deliver? Oh dear, it's miles over the bar. Got right underneath that. And she knew the moment that it left her boot, it was sailing over. Bobby Brazier, getting a pep talk, or is that getting in his head, Patrice Evra? He does love this game. Bobby Brazier looks relaxed. Calm finish, and England are back in front, sudden death, Czech couldn't get hold of that, <laughs> I think Ellen White rather enjoyed that, and now an opportunity, Michael Ward has got to score, this to stay in it, it's Michael Ward, it's superb. He's a top boy, all right. He says he feels he's at a good enough level to compete with these boys. Nerveless. Back to Tom Hiddleston. 3-3, three, three, in sudden death. Can't afford to miss. It's been saved by Petacek. He shakes his head, he knows that this is a big moment. David James is suggesting that Petacek was off his line. The referee has shaken his head, and it will be Compton to win it. Martin Compton, who has taken two penalties already. One of them was chalked off. This to seal the dressing room. It's Compton! Jesus, Mary and Joseph, and the little wee donkey. That was some penalty. Just when you think that the World Eleven can't keep winning, they do it over and over and over again. Some great saves, some great penalties, but once again, the home dressing room at Stamford Bridge, which is usually blue, will belong to World Eleven once again on Sunday night. <laughs>